Today, we're diving into how to use Comfy UI, a fantastic tool for creating AI art, alongside Flux, an incredible new way to make stunning pictures. I'm here to walk you through it step by step. First, we need to get Comfy UI on your computer. Open your browser and head to GitHub. Just search Comfy UI by Comfy Anonymous and you'll find it. Scroll down a little and you'll see a section about installing it. If you're using Windows, you're in luck. They've got a big ZIP file ready to download. Once it's ready, you'll see a zip file waiting for you. To open it, use something like WinRare or my go-to, 7-Zip. It's free and super simple. Extract the files wherever you want. Open that new folder and you'll find a README file. It says if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card, double-click the file labeled Run for NVIDIA to start Comfy UI. No graphics card? Use the Run for CPU file instead. It'll work, but it'll be a bit slower. Comfy UI needs a starting point to create art. If you don't have anything yet, let's pick up a model called Deliberate. It's a great one to begin with. Head to a site called Civitai, search Deliberate, and download the file. It's a big one that holds the AI's art skills. Once it's downloaded, go into your Comfy UI folder, find the Models folder, then the Checkpoints folder inside that, and drop Deliberate there. That's where all your art ingredients will hang out. Now, back in the main Comfy UI folder, Double-click that Run for NVIDIA file, or Run for CPU if that's your vibe. After a few seconds, your browser will pop open to a page that says localhost colon 8188. That's Comfy UI's workspace. You'll see boxes connected by lines, like a little map. Don't panic, it's just your tools waiting to play. But first, let's bring Flux into the fun. If you don't want to combine it, you can also skip the video till we come back to Comfy UI. All right, let's get Flux running locally. And the best part, it's completely free. Normally, Flux can be a bit tricky to set up because it involves typing commands and knowing some tech stuff, which can feel overwhelming if you're new to this, like I was. But don't worry. There's a super simple way to do it with a tool called Stability Matrix. It's like a one-click helper that makes everything easy, and it works on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Head to the Stability Matrix page on GitHub, and you'll see download options at the top. Pick the one for your computer, Windows, Linux, or Mac, and click to start the download. It's a zip file, so once it's done, unzip it with something like 7-Zip or your computer's built-in tool. I went with the portable version, which is awesome because you can move the whole folder anywhere, like an external drive, and it'll still work with all your stuff intact. Put it wherever you like, your desktop, a creative folder, you name it. Now, Flux itself needs two key pieces to work a big model file, and a finishing touch file. You'll find both on GitHub via the links below. Start with the model file. Look for the V2 version of Flux Dev. It's a hefty 12 gigabytes, so it'll take a little while to download. Next, grab the autoencoder file called the AE file. It's smaller, but just as important. Once you've got both, open your stability matrix folder, find the data folder inside, and drop them in the right spots. The model file goes into the stable diffusion folder and the AE file goes into the VAE folder. That's it, Flux is ready to roll. Time to fire it up. Double click the stability matrix program in its folder or whatever launcher your system uses. The first time you open it, a little window will pop up with a list of art making packages you can add. Look for stable diffusion web UI forge, that's the one we want, and click to install it. If you miss that pop up, no biggie. Just click packages at the top, then add package and pick it from there. It's all one click easy. Once it's installed, click Launch next to Stable Diffusion Web UI Forge. It might take a minute or two the first time as it gets everything ready. Think of it like warming up the oven before baking. When it's done, your browser will open a new page. That's your art studio. At the top, you'll see a checkbox labeled Flux. Click it to turn Flux on. Then, pick the Flux model file you downloaded from the list It'll be the big one you put in the Stable Diffusion folder. Next, choose the AE file from the Finishing Touch dropdown. It's the one you dropped in the VAE folder. You don't need to mess with anything else up there for now. Let's keep it simple. Here's where the fun begins. Up top, there's a blank box where you type what you want to see. Let's try something cool. A majestic whale shark is swimming in a clear blue ocean full of manta rays, while some divers are swimming below it. Flux loves when you give it lots of juicy details, so don't hold back. Below that, you'll see some settings to play with, like the picture's width and height. Since I'm using a basic graphics card, I'll set it to 512 by 512 pixels to keep things speedy. You can tweak other options later, 
But for now, the description is all we need. Hit the generate button and wait a bit. It might take four or five minutes depending on your computer. On my setup, it's not lightning fast. So imagine this part of the video speeding up a little. When it's done, bam, there's your lion. Mine came out with a glowing sky and fur you can practically feel. It's not perfect, maybe a tiny blur here or there, but it's pretty awesome for a first try. What do you think? Let's do another one. No cherry picking here, just real results. This time, type. A cozy cafe in Amsterdam with wooden shelves, warm lights, and a big open sign in the window. Hit generate again, and after a few minutes, you'll get a picture. Mine had a snug little shop with a sign that actually said open. Flux is great at text. It's not flawless, but it's got charm. Now, let's hop back to Comfy UI for a sec. Those boxes are where the real magic happens. Right-click anywhere on the Comfy UI screen, choose Add a Box, and you'll see tons of options. Here's how the basic setup works. One box picks your art model, like Deliberate or, later, Flux if you connect it. Another box takes your words and turns them into something the AI understands. You can label one, what I need, and another, what I don't need. Then connect them to the right spots in the next box. The big box in the middle is like the artist. It mixes everything together to make your picture. You can tweak how long it works, how much it listens to you, and more. The finishing box turns it all into a real image. The last box saves it for you. Want more fun? Add an advanced artist box. It lets you split the work, like doing rough sketches for 15 steps, then polishing for another 15. Connect it between your model and the finishing box. Play around, it's like building your own art machine. Sometimes, Comfy UI needs extra boxes for cool tricks. That's where the Comfy UI Manager comes in. Head to GitHub, download the manager file, and unzip it into the Custom Nodes folder inside Comfy UI. Restart Comfy UI, then look on the side for Manager and click Install Custom Tools. Try dragging a fancy picture from a site like Civitai into Comfy UI. It'll show you the plan someone else used. If it complains about missing tools, click Install Missing Tools in the Manager, add what's needed, and restart. I tried a cityscape from a friend. It loaded their plan, and after adding a few tools, I got the exact same glowing skyline. It's like borrowing a recipe from a master chef. Want your flux art even sharper? Grab a tool like Topaz Photo AI. Drag your picture in, double or quadruple the size, and add some crispness. My lion from earlier went from small to wall art ready. The fur and sunset popped like crazy. It's a great way to level up. Let's try a comfy UI bonus, adding a style twist. On Civitai, find a style file like Cyberpunk Look and drop it into the Loras folder in Comfy UI's Models section. Add a new box called Style Loader. Connect it between your model box and the artist box. Pick the Cyberpunk style and set the strength to about 80%. Type a neon lit alley with a cyberpunk warrior holding a glowing sword. Hit go. My picture came out dripping with neon and attitude. It's like giving your AI a new vibe. If you love this, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.